theoretical and artistic analysis. It's been waiting until now. And who better to author this seminal work than Rosemary Crumlin, who has lived Blake's first 60 years. I'm delighted to launch the Blake book and to invite Rosemary to speak about the book and the prize. I wouldn't look near these odds, this, uh, except for this book. You're actually so lucky to have it. It's been like, I'm not a football fan, but I want to say to you, I learnt what line ball means. <laughs> the day before yesterday, we were not sure there'd be a book. Because you might have noticed it's got these marvellous fold-out pages. And if you put the fold-out pages together, I won't, I won't speak for long, I promise. If you put the fold-out pages together, you'll find that you've got a social history of this country. That's what's remarkable. It's a visual history. The visual is like story. There are many different interpretations. And history, I think, is actually about layers of story. All history that's any good is about layers of meaning and also layers of who interacts with who. And it's always through somebody's vision of it. So what I decided to do when I thought about all that stuff was just to, to begin by just taking the winners. And I thought if I took the winners, the 60 winners, and gave them each a double page and asked them, why did you go in? What was it about? Um, what happened to you? Did it make any difference in your life? That, and what I hoped then was that that in some way, not only would the artists get recognition and their work, but there'd be some kind of an understanding of, of what's behind those, what people do with those major questions of life. This book is about the fold-out pages, as well as about the winners, because the fold-out pages give you what it is that those who didn't win and that's another, like, it's another little thread in the book. It occurred to me that, and how about the people who didn't win? And in various ways, I was able to get photographs of some of the good works that were entered and didn't win. And so that they exist within this book as big fold-out pages. And they're like, I reckon, I like to think, they're like uh, a book within a book. That, that actually, is the very first poster that was downstairs outside the exhibition. And to understand this, you need to know, it's fine to look back on it, but you need to know that for the people who did it, this was this incredible achievement, that they had no idea what was going to happen. So if you take that and you contrast it with with the last of the big fold-outs in this book, you can see actually where some of the shifts are. So there's the fold-out from 2007 to 2009. And then you can see this incredible contrast that's no longer dominated by Christian works and certainly not works for churches. Um, and the names aren't the same kind of names. They're not Anglo names, the artists. But uh, this guy I talked to last night, he's Chinese. Um, uh, Sheffer is Jewish. And so that you'll find that lots of the artists do it as an exploration of religion and religious questions. Religious in brackets, not church questions. Not... Christian belief or Islamic belief questions as much as the profound questions that underpin what all of us ask, I think, at, at some moments in our life, often in moments of threat or love or ecstasy, if you're lucky enough to have it. 